Mais à nous, c'est des vidéos, nous, go let people rest. Rihanna, don't finally toss it. A best song for the year 2023 is unavailable by Davido. And for sure, I know Davido will not allow, will not allow us to rest. We go stress this matter so long, eh? You said, but we tired. And not just only that, Rihanna, Ibu Sabi, the dance step. Ibu Sabi, the dance step. Come of the year? Ooh, <laughs> am I am I an album girl or am I a streaming single girl? Unavailable, on repeat. That and Ninka. It is it, spelled M N I K. Ninka. That Ninka is a, a South Africa song. So for those of you who do not know, that's a South Africa song. So. It's not uh, a Nigeria song, so that you will just get that straight. Like I've said before, the video no go let people rest. He has been tweeting since yesterday, talking about this particular thing, <coughs> referring to it. And of course, if you have a good song, people are gonna play it, and uh, it's a way of marketing himself as well. I don't I like if he, if if I was David, I'm gonna absolutely do the same. If it's gonna bring more bread to me. If it's gonna be more exposure to me, if it's gonna let people know that yes, I exist, good and fine. I'm going to amplify it. In fact, I'm going to pay bloggers to amplify that particular Rihanna talk. In fact, I'm going to whoever posts about it, I'm going to pay Twitter to promote that particular tweet so that a massive amount of people will see that yeah, if they know Rihanna is listening to Unavailable, they themselves who are a crazy fan of Rihanna will also go and listen to Unavailable. And again, possibly buy tickets for my next show. Yes, yeah, so if I'm David, though, it's another way of strategizing and making your music, your 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 project pop. So big up to uh, Rihanna for Rihanna has only supported Afrobeat, but it's not a. It's just that she has never collaborated with any Afrobeat artist. She has a way. Kind of like because Thames wrote a song for Rihanna, for Black Panther, but she has not directly collaborated with with any Afrobeat artist so far. Not directly collaborated. In one time, she was a very good fan of Bonner Boy, and also one time she was a very good fan fan of a whiskey. Even Rem herself. So next year we're going to see because so far so good there. Eh? This year was slightly almost dominated by David O. You know, a lot of bunch of artists, David O, Rema, Bonner Boy. And Whiskey, despite not releasing artists, is still among the top 10 artists in uh, Nigeria this year. And uh, who has the most uh, listeners on Spotify? So it's great to see him. If not, maybe David O, I will amplify, I will amplify, and well, well, you know, he's currently in. Uh, Dubai and David is the only person that is really really working in this in this December. <laughs> so we go, go rest now. David is booked like you know one rest. You know one rest. And let me tell you, it's not as if they are born boy whiskey. No get show. If if they want get show, they already told their agents, everybody that see so 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 date to so so date. I am not available. I will be staying with my family. But uh, hey, uh, they be doing no arrest. They be doing see they pack that money. Ah, rest, brother. Now rest, brother. Rest. They be do rest. You still get all that show lined up for December. Still getting booked. Ah, that be do rest. Although he rested though after he lost his son, you know he rested for almost a year. No show. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. So it's about time for him to recoup those money he may have lost. If he gathered the money, he may have recoup them back. Because then eh, he lost so much. He lost so much money. And the most most importantly, the, the worst one was his son's life. So it's crazy though. Roddy Rich entered Nigeria yesterday. As soon as he entered Nigeria, hmm, Yopo mouth. 
when you see trenches. <laughs> ah! Wahala, the trenches be this, the people be this. <laughs> the guy surprised. <laughs> Someone said, there is something in the Nigeria atmosphere. I don't know how to explain it. Once you touch, you, your quality will just reduce. Exactly, guys. There is something in Nigeria atmosphere. I'm telling you, I've said this before. If you carry this phone, go abroad, go snap, eh? The quality of the of your picture eh, will be so so nice. Eh? But as soon as you come to Nigeria, eh, will lie you. Hmm? The same phone, take and take picture. You know go understand the picture. There is something absolutely wrong with our atmosphere. <laughs> See the rich, they are abroad, like they go to shine. He enter Nigeria, he no even the shine, he be like what kind of boy from uh, <laughs> well, the guy, I hope the guy is enjoying uh, Lagos because that is where he's going to be performing. And he meant with Asake, they had a discussion. Asake is the new artist now that everybody wants to collaborate with. So, and uh, who, whoever thought that Asake, then we were saying Asake wasn't international enough with this kind of sound. Ah! Music here, eh? music has no language. Music no get language. You'll be so surprised with Porte Bosef, eh? but you go this it could so go way international. Music doesn't have a language. As long as you are, you, there's a good beat and a big up to all those producers and the DJs. As long as there's a good beat to that sound, you are good to go. People are gonna learn your language. You know, then they were saying, Oh, you must be able to collaborate Pidgin English and uh, Yoruba or Igbo or anyone and also Bood English and uh, Queen's English, you uh, the, the US way of speaking English to collaborate it in order for them to like your music, in order for your music to blow outside, you know, all those kind of uh, barriers. Barriers, this, 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 this. For now, take that is. As long as you get good beats, eh? the music is nice. They will listen to rap. Sake speaks, sings purely almost in Yoruba. But yet, the Americans are even practicing or speaking Yoruba. That is why I said this. Eh? Some of you are not proud of your culture. You guys are not proud of speaking Pidgin. Why? 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 You guys are not proud of speaking that Yoruba, that your language. Why? Those American people are trying so much to able study your language, to study your way of speaking, your intonation, but you are busy castigating your own intonation as Nigeria. Why? Why? I don't speak Queen's English. Would they practice what? You know they see the way Asaka they speak in English. Eh? Despite clear, you know they say as they stretch sound like they speak on like typical uh, Niger. You know they say they speak on. I don't know why also so some of you guys say I don't know who I don't know who do you now. I've seen the people no my my kids will never speak pidgin English, my kids will never speak uh, uh, our language. Guy that dirty language. Are you serious? You are really liquid. My children will speak pidgin English. In fact, eh, they will speak pidgin English first. They feel learn English for school. Good and fine. Eh? That doesn't stop you for being the best doctor or be the best lawyer if you want to be. Or to be the uh, uh, successful in life, it doesn't stop you. The language doesn't stop you. We have uh, the Americans, we have the Arabs, we have so many people who doesn't even know how to speak English, but then they are very, very successful. <laughs> Grab and well. Where well, Road Rich also hanged out with, uh, of course, Udugu himself, Bonner Boy, and uh, Bonner Boy decided to take him out to chill. Around, well, I don't know what they were discussing, and uh, again, saw Lamide linked up with Pokoli, Fireboy, and the rest of them. He's enjoying himself, though. He, he's enjoying himself in, in, in Lagos. I was going to be performing, I don't know how much he was paid, but uh, it's good that we are kind of like 
still inviting America artists down to Nigeria to perform. It's good that we are inviting them. You know, we have to be able to collaborate with each other, welcome them with love and happiness, and show them kindness. Since they are showing us massive kindness over there, I like the way our Nigerian music actually play their politics. Anytime they are coming, show them love, show them kindness, show them happiness, so that whenever they are going back, they will. You know, the, the way they're going to talk, man, Nigerian people are great. That uh, CEO that is somewhere that is in charge of any concert there or in charge of any business, music business. We also share money with our artists as well. We we'll call them for one or two things. It's not like uh, the crazy, uh, the, the, the crazy uh, Ghana artists like Black Sheriff who want to break that barrier of, uh, of international artists, uh, music being played in Ghana. Crazy, you know, I know they use my head. Head, sense, no day. 